good morning, fish heads. Jen Cravasi, Jekyll Bates, and it is good to see you guys again. I'm back in the shop. It's Friday. I think today is Friday, May the 8th. That sounds about right. I know it's Friday. So you guys will see this this evening, but good morning to you guys, or good afternoon, whenever it is you guys are watching this video. We've got a couple of pieces to get into this morning. I'm in the middle of filming a small water spray session right now, and that is going to be this little guy. It's a blue breast darter and we're concentrating on the state of Ohio. Smack dab northern central United States and the heartland of the country. Um, very cool. A couple of reasons I happen to see this picture online and I'm like that would be a really good small waters to do. I love the orange dots on this. Uh, it's a fairly simple pattern so we'll do it in a speed spray format for you guys. It shouldn't take that long or take up too much of your time and you should be able to spray that pattern. So we're working on that should be uploaded tomorrow and also just real quick i wanted to go over a couple of pieces that are going out the door this has been an ongoing project um since uh, not not because of the level of difficulty but it, i was waiting on these to come back in stock so i have these these are really cool i did um, a salamander spray session with this particular jerk bait um a couple of months ago i think earlier it was in 2020 but um, got most of that sprayed for him. This has been an ongoing since, um, I want to say he ordered in the middle of February. So he's really cool guy, Michael Montoya, to work with. He is a tattoo artist out of Tennessee. Um, he's like, no worries, no rush. Um, just get it to me when you can. I'm still waiting on a couple of glide baits for him, but I don't think anybody's gotten, well, I don't know, the, the glides that I'm waiting on, I don't think anybody else has, or I would have reordered them again. But this is, uh, this is a pretty cool pattern. He sent me a picture, and I'll pop that up, of what he wanted when it was basically lightning. Um, and he's like, can you do a reverse and, and do the red under? And I'm like, yeah, sure. So just for you guys, and I've seen another artist do this, I want to say more recently, in a couple, couple of weeks. Um, but it's a pretty simple mesh spray pattern. You do white on the bottom, you fade that up into a fluorescent pink, and on this particular one, and also there's a Dinger S in the back of this, um, I used, uh, I kind of upgraded him to one of those pre-foil, uh, really cool holographic patterns. And you go from the pink to the fluorescent red, and then you spray that bright transparent red on top, and then mesh it and spray black over it, and it gives you this really awesome, awesome crackle pattern, lightning pattern, call it what you will, that is what the pattern is. So these are going out to him this morning, and again, he was super cool about the delay. Um, he certainly understands. I think all of us are having issues right now with those with those problems. So thank you, Michael. That's going out. Um, just different baits. And then I use these, uh, these eyes, which are, I want to say I got those off of AliExpress. Um, just a real beautiful light colored red kind of fades into an orange so that's where those came from this uh, starts with a dark like a purple underneath and then I use those uh, creature feature stencils and sprayed white over top of that and then once the white was down I just hit the top of the bait with a little bit of fluorescent red and that um, turned out like this these are John's eyes over at Jetson Lure Eyes and it's JetsonLures.com uh, get yourself some. He's always got some really cool stuff in stock. And then this has just got a little bit of orange and pineapple. It's a, the Createx, Createx pearl colors on the bottom. So fun little 1.5. And then we've got this Toxic Crappie. And this is that wired 2.5 inch mesh and pinned down on the bottom and then over sprayed with black it's got the fluorescent flow green eyes on there and a lime a key lime and a fluorescent yellow top fluorescent orange belly fun little pattern to spray and that's a two-piece with this wintergreen sunfish also on one of those prefoil holographic Bates, and that is almost all the news that's fit to print, but I've got to give a shout out to Scott Taylor. Scott Taylor, uh, I get some mail every once in a while, and you guys send me some really cool stuff. He sent, he's out of Fredericksburg, Texas, uh, 
he didn't indicate whether or not he built this himself, but he sent it to me. Uh, it's still, you can still smell the wood burn in it. So this is a, a burnt pattern, but uh, wow, this thing is super cool. Super, super cool. It's a cutting board by nature, but obviously this is going to be used for bait display and just a phenomenal job done on this on this uh, on this cutting board and I believe that this is a bamboo wood I think that's what it looks like um, but just really awesome awesome job so Scott Taylor in Texas thank you so much for sending this um, means the world to me and I will definitely be using it that's all the news is fit to print today you guys have a fantastic weekend be on the lookout for that blue breast darter spray session coming to you guys tomorrow right here on Jekyll Productions YouTube channel. You guys take care. Cheers and happy casting.